someone and all you can do is inseminate somebody, come and walk away. All my friends, all murder say. is not a choice. Murder is sin. Hey, abortion is murder. My friends, when, you, when a child comes into creation, they're a real human being created in the image of God. And when you slaughter that child created in God's image, you are committing murder. You're going to be held accountable before God. And the only people who seek to dehumanize the preborn child are the ones seeking to, to justify their destruction. The only ones seeking to dehumanize the preborn child are seeking to justify their destruction. Now, my friends, you can be a fool no more. You know, Psalm 14:1 tells us that the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Well, my friends, a fool saying in his heart that there is no God is like a fish saying that there is no water. It's time to step out, step outside of your oblivion, step outside of your confusion, and step into the peace that passes all understanding. Uh. The Lord is calling you out of darkness into His marvelous light. My friends, the Lord is calling you out of darkness into His marvelous light. You don't have to be a fool. You can be wise. You can commit every thought captive to the cause of Christ. Oh, my friends, it's time to love the things of God. It's time to reject the things of the world. Because one day our heart's going to be revealed. And the Lord, the Lord is going to expose what, what really mattered to you. Do, do the things of God really matter to you? Do you want to preach, go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature? Or do you love the Vikings more? Do you love your sports more, your entertainment? Oh, my friends, you don't have to be infatuated with entertainment any longer. You can be infatuated with the Lord Jesus Christ. You can seek to do the will of the Father. My friends, you know, Jesus Christ says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of God, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And you can seek to do the will of the Father today. If you ask God to, to allow you to do it, He will give you a way to do it. The Lord's arm is not too short that it cannot save. And the Lord can save you out of your rebellion to Him. Well, my friends, we're, we're standing here today out of a huge taxpayer-funded stadium that costs taxpayers a lot of money. A lot of money that was spent wastefully to serve the flesh of people who live in the Twin Cities area. Money that could have been spent much more wisely. For missions, for those who are preaching the gospel, to those who need housing, to those who are estranged from the gospel of Christ to give them resources unto the one who gives them everlasting life. But instead we spend it on a huge gaudy sports stadium that is a huge eyesore in our community. Oh my friends, you can be born again today. You can be saved from seeking after the things of this world. You can seek after the things of God. You can love God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. You can ask God to help you in your walk with Him. But we make provisions for entertainment every day. I go on a plane and it says, here are your entertainment options. Well, my friends, God gives us what we need. God gives us what is necessary for us to live. God gives us what's necessary for us to be at peace with ourselves. You can have the peace that passes all understanding. You don't have to you don't have to continue in your sin. You don't have to continue having sex outside of marriage. There are consequences to our sin, my friends. For fornication, it's called STDs, sexually transmitted damnation. But you can be saved from your fornication. You can be saved from your fornication. 
You can be saved from your drunkenness. You can be saved from your perpetual lying. You can be saved from your perpetual stealing. You can be saved from seeking after empty cisterns. You can seek to provide for yourself. You don't have to live off of the government. You don't have to live on welfare. You can work hard and provide for yourself. You know, God says, if a man does not work, let him not eat. My friends, one day your sin will find you out. Don't be deceived. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. My friends, when we stand before God, many of us aren't going to be ready. Over 151,000 born people die every single day. And most of them are not ready to meet their Creator. Most of them need more time. But God is, the truth is, God has given you plenty of time to repent and believe the Gospel. But most people would rather squander that time that God's given them and to spend it on fleeting passions to waste their time, to waste their money. My friends, you can be wise with the gifts that God has given you. You can use your money for God's kingdom. You can use your time for God's kingdom. Do you know why people starve to death every single day? It's because of sin. People seeking after their own desires. But my friends, you don't have to, you don't have a logical, moral argument as to why people die of starvation each day. If you believe in evolution, that's just survival of the fittest. Are you a flat earther? No, Jesus Christ is king. Do you believe you can, in flat earth? No, we have a globe. We Do live in a globe. In flat earth? We live in a globe. I'm Jesus is king. We live in a globe. So you're regurgitating. Jesus is king. Turn to Christ and live. You can believe the gospel. Actually, your question doesn't matter. I shouldn't have honored your question. I should have asked you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You can repent and believe the gospel today. Yep, Jesus is king, and you're, you're going to bow before him one day. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, my friends, how much more peaceful this world would be if, if everyone believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and sought to obey him in word, thought, and deed. There would be no more murder, no more stealing, no more lying. No more adultery, no more divorce, no more swindling, no more whoremongering, no more adultery, no more pornography. Oh, if everyone would obey Jesus Christ in word, thought, and deed, all the strip clubs would shut down. There would be no more stealing through taxes. We would love our neighbors as ourselves. Abortion wouldn't exist. Fornication wouldn't exist because we would all understand that sex is between the confines of marriage and marriage is the lifelong union of one man and one woman. There would be no more homosexuality. Abortion wouldn't exist. We would all love our children. And Jesus, and Jesus would be pleased. He would be pleased with us if we all stopped sinning. If we quit fornicating, quit getting drunk. Oh, my friends, Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the people trying to proclaim that everybody is a sinner are just trying to be at, at comfort with their sin. They're trying to be comfortable in their sin. But you don't have to be comfortable with your sin. You don't have to be at ease in rebellion against God. You can ask God to keep you from sin. Ask God for self-control to regulate your emotions. 
You know, self-control is the fruit of the Spirit. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. I can't hear you at all. Well, Jesus is King. I can't hear you. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna judge the nations. But if you're gonna do it, you might gonna, have your gonna, voice heard. Because I can't you hear can you. can turn to Christ and live. No, I'm saying it's muffled. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. right? I'll. I'll. I'll I'm get just it. Saying. Yep. Appreciate it. You betcha, Jesus honey. is Lord. Yep. Well. Although well. I, one although, day. Although I believe the Lord loves everybody, even when they make this. Yeah. Well. Um. He, he's angry with the wicked every day. Um. It says he, uh, those who don't heed, don't yield to the Holy Spirit, those who think that, uh, that, that, that they're okay with their sin, that they're okay in their sin. So like if someone has sex outside of marriage. But if you, if you, if you regret your sin and you, if you actually repent, then you'll be uh, Yeah, I uh, believe the gospel. That, yeah, that's part of the gospel. And uh, pray, uh, asking the Lord, Asking the Lord to save you from all unrighteousness, and, uh, and so it's so is what I'm saving you from. Well, it's like, do you, do you remember stealing? Do you remember lying? Do you remember? God bless you, bro. Do you remember fornicating, or do you remember committing adultery? And yeah, and uh, and so all this sin has like has the Lord rescued you from that sin? Uh, has the has the Lord given you a new heart, new desires? Uh, to serve him, to love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, and uh, and speaking the truth in love. Uh, and speaking and uh, truth be love. Yeah, yeah, love. yeah. And yeah. the Lord, in my opinion, has instilled a lot of death and by by violence. He well, that's uh, it. Have you ever studied the Catholic history? Well, yeah, yeah, they have a they have a violent history. Yep, the yeah, Spanish the Spanish so Inquisition. You're still but, okay but, I, but I'm yeah, not I love Catholic. The Lord, but I'm saying I'm saying to you that it's really hard when you yeah, see well, all like, that death that was caused from the Lord. It's well, really, it, well, really hard to watch. well, Catholicism has a lot of unbiblical teachings. Well, of course, Catholicism, any any element of, of God has. Great lessons to be learned, but the problem is that when people use that to cause harm to other people, yep. and it doesn't happen nowadays so much, but can you stomach the death and everything that happened back in the last thousand years? Well, any judgment that the Lord of Christianity. Well, it's really well, well, any judgment that God pours out on people, He gave them time to repent of their sin and receive the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. Like in Noah's flood, Noah warned people to get on the ark. God's going to flood the earth. He gave all those people on earth plenty of time to get on the ark, and they didn't. Because they. How do we justify over a thousand years? How many people getting their heads chopped off because they wouldn't testify that they love the Catholic religion, for example? I mean, that's really awful. Yeah, you boy. Well, well, no, I, I don't justify that. I'm not a Catholic. Like I said, Catholicism has a lot of unbiblical teachings. They, they believe they can pray for dead you know, people. The Bible is just, in, in any given day, the Bible is one inch away in, in, in the effect that any, any ruler who feels very strongly about their religion could be, in a sense, the same situation as those rulers were back then. And that's very scary. Yeah, uh, well, there are a lot of false converts who use, who try to use God for political gain, uh, like, uh, like Adolf Hitler. Uh, Adolf Hitler wasn't a. He didn't use political gain. He used genocide. He, he used the fact that their country was a certain race. That's completely different. That is not at all to do with religion. I mean, you could you could probably take. Yeah, he he hated the decrees of God. But the reality is, in the last thousand years, so many people died because they were not of the right religion. And how can God allow that to happen? 
I don't know. I mean, I'm just asking. I'm not asking. Well, you don't know the answers. I well, think well, God does. It's disgusting, right? Well, well, yeah, it's disgusting. I think of, I think of Islam. Because I think of Islam. You're loving Lutheranism, right? Like, like, you get your head cut off because you love Lutheranism. Religion, in and of itself, is a beautiful thing. I, I absolutely agree with you. It's a set However, of beliefs that we use to make sense of reality. That's religion. Religion is wonderful because it allows people to so everyone's learn how to be beautiful to other people. But in my opinion, if we as humans can just teach it in a different way, as in the stop bullying or let's be kind and loving to everybody that we see, yep. isn't that the same as what you've been taught? Kind and loving. Love every person that you see. Right? Yeah, we, we're, we're loving by speaking the truth in them. It's